And just like that, our cruise is coming towards the second half and towards the end. Sad times. This is day seven and this is the beautiful port here in Alden. Similar to Skjolden, although a little bit bigger, this is a port that is quite a small population with not a huge amount to do in the actual port area, although there are plenty of excursions out to cool locations, but more of that later. As you can see when we sailed in, this has got an incredible view. Uh, this was a port that was just beautiful for the sailing from every side of the ship. So our balcony was on the starboard side of the ship, but we got a good view when we went up on the deck as well and walked around and got these pictures and videos as well. Stunning views. It's nice to see the tiny little uh, images of cars on the small amount of roads going around the little houses on the way in. This was a very small port, so although there was another ship in with us, we were the one that went to the dock, the other ship did have to tender, so we were quite glad that it was not ourselves that needed to tender. It was really, really beautiful, as you can see, and the waters were so still and so beautiful to see. But we decided to have a quite a nice slow walk around the ship as we started to get towards the dock and really take in exactly where it was we were. And after a brief breakfast, it was time to get off the ship and get into the port and have a little walk around. We didn't anticipate today being a long day for us as there wasn't a huge amount to do in the port and we didn't fancy going all the way to the glacier, which was the main attraction here. The glacier was uh, accessible via excursions on the ship, but also there were a couple of different tour companies offering bus trips to the glacier. One of the reasons we didn't take it is because it was going to take about an hour to get there. You didn't have that much time there and then you'd have to come back. And for the cost, we didn't feel it was worth it. Now, if you're never going to come back here again, never going to see a glacier, absolutely do it. Go for it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. But we thought we would save it for a trip where the weather was a little bit better and visibility was improved. Because as you can see, it was quite foggy and quite dark. So it wasn't really something that we were that keen on doing today. But... We had a lovely time going around the port. As you can see, we walked around the lake, had a look at some of the more unique locations here in Olden, and had a really great time getting nice and high and seeing the view of our ship next to the Island Princess ship. Now, right outside the ship, as you can see soon from my balcony, you'll be able to see the sightseeing tour buses and the road train. Now, as you see these, they are always going to be there throughout the morning, ready to take you up on your trip. And to the right, there is a little bar that you'll see as I pan round that offers the tourist information center where you can book your tickets and see all the different times. It's another rainy day here in Alden. As you can see behind me, you can just make out, we are sharing the port with the lovely Island Princess. Both ships are here and uh, the Pride is docked because it's smaller, whereas the uh, Island Princess has had to tender. Um, it's only a small port. And up until very recently, all ships had to tender here. So we were very lucky in the fact that we have no tender ports in Norway, which is great. Now, uh, we didn't get an excursion here, um, decided, it would be beneficial for the vlog to really explore things on our own and find out what we can do without. And uh, we've decided just to do some naturey walks. This morning when we went out for the first time, we couldn't really find much to do, but the afternoon we've come out and we've actually found a little trail. So you can see from the sign here, there's a, uh, a hiking trail. It's about four to five kilometers and uh, it takes you up to a really good viewpoint um, of both the ships and the entire Nordfjord. So wish us luck.
We did it. After climbing for oof, about an hour and a half, we got to the top and uh, the views are insane. We're above the clouds. Um, it was about a five kilometer walk. Just to be aware, if you are attempting to do the walk, the last section, last sort of half a kilometer is a mud path. It's not um, paved. So if you're not wearing appropriate shoes or you've got mobility issues, you will not be able to finish it. The last um, little bit is very, very steep, muddy and uh, slippy. So do be careful. Uh, but you are treated to a tiny little house at the top uh, where I'm, in my head, some sort of angry axe wielding man lives. I shouldn't say that too loud, he might come out with his axe, but hey, who knows. Uh, but as you see behind me, the views of the mountains and the fjords, you might just be able to see right over there somewhere, the, the ships. Um, we are very, very high above them to the point of we are above the cloud level, which is crazy. But we wanted to do it. We set ourselves the challenge to do it. We did it. And um, there's a cocktail on board with my name on it. Join me there at the bar. <laughs> see you. I am never going to forget how beautiful the views are here in Alden. No matter where you go, any part of the island area, uh, from the town, up on the hills, to the mountains, you're going to get a good view. And as you can see, even in the rainy weather, everything is still, everything is quiet, and it's just so peaceful and tranquil. Certainly not going to miss this when heading back home to the city. And as we pull away, it's time to go back to the Alchemy Bar for a delicious cocktail before dinner. And we had a good little experience here. We had flat, uh, barbecue fra flatbread even. We had the alligator beignets and a lovely French onion soup with cheddar cheese topping or something like that, I think. And a uh, mozzarella and tomato salad, which was absolutely delicious and fresh. And then for main courses, we had some chicken. We also had the lasagna, which was absolutely huge and delicious. And I can't remember what this one was. I think it was a prawn uh, sort of stew. 
We had a fruit plate, which was absolutely lovely as well, and some baked apple pie. That's always a great choice, especially if you're American and that's what you're used to. I can't remember quite what this cake was, but it was delicious as well. We were quite impressed by the simplicity but deliciousness of the food on board this cruise. Now, next episode will be a double parter as we have our final port and the debarkation day. Thanks for joining me. See you next week.